Today, ISRO launched Earth Observation Satellite EOS-03 from Satish Dhawan Space Center at Sri Harikota at 5.43 am. However, the mission could not be accomplished fully due to a performance anomaly in the cryogenic stage. The 51.7-meter-tall rocket GSLVF-10 with the EOS-03 satellite successfully lifted off from the second launch pad at the spacecraft as planned at 5.43 am soon after the 26-hour countdown concluded. Ahead of the liftoff, the Launch Authorization Board cleared the decks for a normal liftoff as planned. Scientists at the Mission Control Center said that the performance of the rocket in the first and the second stages of the rocket was normal. However, minutes later, the scientists were seen in discussion and it was announced in the Mission Control Center by the Range Operations Director, mission could not be accomplished fully due to performance anomaly. Later, ISRO Chairman K. Sivan said that the mission could not be fully accomplished mainly because there is a technical anomaly observed in the cryogenic stage. The launching event is the second one this year for the Bengaluru headquartered space agency after the launch of Brazil's Earth Observation Satellite Amazonia 1 and 18 co-passenger satellites in February this year. To know all about why the Earth Observation Satellite or the EOS-03 on board the Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle F-10 was intended to be placed in a geosynchronous transfer orbit, check out the description box below. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.